up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the uh, Murder Zelaya versus Zoo recap as Bakran Murder Zelaya, the undefeated IBF Super Welterweight Champion of the World, put his title on the line for the first time when he took on former champion Tim Zhu and scored an upset third round TKO victory in spectacular fashion on the October 19th um, Amazon Prime uh, card. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. No, uh, I do really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So this fight um, was a good one between these two as they, um, well, I mean, it was built up to be a fight where Tim Zhu was supposed to just go in there and dominate Bakran Murda Zalayev. I thought he was going to outwork him personally. Um, you know, uh, that was my prediction on the fight. But I did tell everybody to not sleep on Bakram. He was the bigger guy. Um, he's he's a, a power puncher as well. He was a guy that hadn't tasted defeat. And, you know, I, I let everybody know that this uh, might not be the cakewalk that everybody thinks. And it was really because of Tim Zhu's style. You got to understand, Tim Zhu, you know, I know everybody has seen him, but he's an attacker. He's not a very thought out, uh, methodical type uh, fighter in terms of a, a boxer slash puncher. He is a, you know, he's a, a brawler. He's a guy that comes at people, throws a lot of punch, you know, throws a good amount of punches, but he's a pressure fighter. And that means he leaves himself open. And I had seen cracks and that's why I keep telling people, you know, and I got fans of his that get pissed off at me, but I don't care because I call it like it is. And I said that Tim Zhu gets hit. He hasn't overly impressed me to this point, you know, and um, and I felt like uh, this could be a competitive fight and was going to be a competitive fight, even though I thought Tim Zhu was going to win. But he didn't win, and he got fucking cracked in this fight. Bakram Mertesalayev showed everybody how good he really is when he took on um, Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu came pressuring Bakram. Bakram um, landed good hard shots, counter shots, and uh, let Tim Zhu come, and, and Bakram just loaded up on that left hook that was there all day and landed it at will and um, was able to stop um, uh, Tim Zhu uh, in the third round. It was four knockdowns, and he hurt him badly. I mean, that first knockdown was bad. The second one, he was just coming forward, throwing like a one-two, uh, you know, and, and landed that left that put uh, Bakram down again. Uh, then it was just more of the pressure, the accumulation punching for the third knockdown. But that fourth one in the, in the third round was just a brutal fucking left hook. And I'm, I'm surprised the referee let the, let the fight go because Tim Zhu was really out on his feet. But, you know, hey, you let a guy who's got a ton of heart and and um, a former world champion, you let him continue. I can't overly fault the referee, but I am surprised. But, yeah, Tim Zhu, all heart. I mean, you know, can't take that away from him. But he got his ass beat, and this was a big upset at 154 right here. And overall in boxing, and not just 154. But Bakran Murda Zalayev, welcome to the party. This guy showed everybody that he is the real deal. And that he's ready to play with the big boys. And now, um, and he just wrote his ticket. Like, when you can win a fight like this, even even uh, leaving the door open for a potential rematch. Like, you go out there, even if you knock the guy out, it's a brawl, back and forth fight, and you win. Or um, you, you know, score a, a upset by a decision. That leaves the door open for a rematch. I, I guarantee you Tim Zhu's not going to want anything to do with a rematch right now. He got his ass whipped, plain and simple. And now Bakram Murtazalaev is a serious player at 154. So we're going to discuss both these guys, what's next, next week. Um, you'll see, you know, what we do. But this is a lesson-type fight, guys, that uh, Tim Zhu and, and everybody should never overlook that guy in front of you, you know, and Tim Zhu on Friday, I read that he was talking about fighting Virgil Ortiz Jr. again. And I, and I always think that's a fucking mistake to start talking about the next guy when you still got the, when you got the guy in front of you to worry about. That means you're looking past the guy in front of you 
and in boxing that you know and 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 uh any sports but especially boxing because it's a combat sport that can be fucking detrimental and it look what happened and i'm not saying i, I do think tim zoo was overlooking murders alive and everybody else was but you have to respect the guy in front of you at all times so Congratulations to Bakran Murtas Alayev, stays world champion. He actually confirmed his title belt with this victory. And now he's uh, on to bigger, better things. Again, I will do a What's Next video on both these fighters um, on the uh, next week. And that's it. That's what I got. That's my that's my uh, Murtas Alayev versus Zoo um, recap from their October 19th Amazon Prime card. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing, and you've been hit with the truth.